Fuck. Hello everybody and welcome to the conference championships of the NFL playoffs in the 2020-2021 NFL season. I'm your host, the Blind Canadian Cat. You can just call me Cat. You can call me Cody. Um, formerly known as Team Avatar 112, where I say meow. I roll intros like the ones you saw in the past. Um, fourth wall break for a second. If I add the Baker clip in, yay. If not, I hope the picture or the video of me will work. Either way, I'm feeling lazy editing and I'm already going to be behind. This is a Friday recording at almost 6 a.m. now. Yeah, um, normally when I play video games with friends, we usually get off. Sometimes midnight, sometimes one or two. Or as of late, you can get to three. No, me and Nathan have been playing video games all the way up till damn near 6 a.m. So. Yep. All sorts of fun, fun. That was nice. I like talking to Nate. Reflecting on our glorious high school careers. Congratulating him as he progresses through his college life. And maybe one day him and I will be roommates. It is in talks, but we don't know for sure yet. It is what it is. But, if those times do come, y'all will definitely be updated. Speaking of vlog, I haven't done a vlog in forever. Maybe we should do one of those. Anywho. Different subjects for another day. Today, y'all want football picks. And who better to get them than the guy who clearly knows what he's talking about. I mean, you look at these... Uh, results from last week's games and you think damn this boy knows exactly what he's talking about okay I, I lied to you guys well, I'm, I hope you told me last week to go fuck myself on my picks I hope you did because at the very least if you did you would have made money like the straight up in the totals it's you know that's whatever of course there were three unders I just got to pick the wrong game to take the over in, so, dang, oh well. It is what it is, but, uh, fucking, oh, four against the spread, what the fuck? <laughs> well, two of them you expect, for sure, because, like I said, Baltimore and, uh, New Orleans lost. Hey, Nate, sorry, we, we, we both suck, how about that? At least you put up a touchdown. But, uh, the Rams not going to be able to cover, and the Chiefs won kind of a punch in the dick, honestly, because, like, had Patrick Mahomes stay in that entire game, it it would have been the minus 10. Yeah, it would have covered easily. But with him leaving, it, it did set up opportunities for us to get dicked. And who wants to know to? I made a parlay spread where I, I did the alternate spread. So I bumped, like, the Rams to 12.5, the Ravens to plus 7, uh, KC to minus 5, and I think New Orleans to minus one. And the fact that none of those covered either. It, it's upsetting. It's just one big pile of upsetting all around for me. But no more. We look forward onto the final four remaining teams. And the three remaining games left of the season. Where many thought we wouldn't actually get this far. But look at us, three more games to go. Let's get this done. Starting off with the NFC Championship game. You know them as the greatest of all time versus the most talented. Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to Green Bay to face the Packers. Green Bay is currently favored by three, or at least by the time I got this down. I think I wrote this, what, Thursday or whatever? I mean, I could check right now just for shits and giggles if the lines have moved, but I don't think they have. Oh, no, Green Bay has moved to three and a half now since I last did this, and the total has even gone up as well. But I'm, I'm going to keep it simple, y'all. The Super Bowl's in Tampa Bay, and... While I believe if anyone's going to break a, uh, a curse or a, a, a trend, it'd be Tom Brady. But I have to think, realistically, after all the shit Green Bay's been through, 
since Rodgers' last Super Bowl appearance. The fact that all the NFC Championship games he's played have been at home, or on the road, my apologies. The fact that the last time he played the Bucks, he got slacked around, and all that. And this does kind of reminisce of last year, where he got slapped around by the Niners in both games, and now here comes the Bucks to come potentially slap him around again. But, I realistically cannot see it. Granted, um, also, with uh, Minnesota being close, last, or being the last team who, the first team who actually made the conference championship in a game that was hosted in their stadium, they got blown out in Philly. Now, Tom Brady's not Case Keenum, but Aaron Rodgers is not Nick Foles either. So, short and sweet. I, 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 I can't take Tampa in this game. I, I, I just can't. I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing it. So I think Green Bay wins this game, and yes, Green Bay is going to the damn Super Bowl. Damn it. But, yep, uh, line for the sake of my video is going to be three, because that's what I wrote down on the dock, and I don't feel like changing it, but it is up to three and a half now on this crisp Friday morning. For some people who are waking up, me, I'm about to go to bed in the next hour or so. But, either way, I I think Green Bay wins this comfortably. I posted on Twitter the other day that there is no reason Green Bay shouldn't. I won't say dominate the game, but I think they'll pretty much have it in control. And I don't see why it wouldn't be. Yeah, there. I think there was some reports about snow. I don't know if that's still being a thing. But, as... Packers have proven they'll drop 40 on the snow on you regardless. It, it, it is what it is. So, I think Green Bay wins and then we'll cover the minus 3 and three or 3.5 three and or hell, you want to throw it up to 6. I think they could cover minus 6 easily in this game. I just think there's no way Green Bay loses this game. Not now and not with everything going on. And with 51.5, like I said, it's risky, but I'm gonna like I like the over in this one. I think Green Bay sco scores pretty easily on Tampa, and I think Tampa does its fair share because, based on how they played last week, I think Tampa could sneak a turnover, force a fumble on like a Marquez Valdez Scantling or a an AJ Dillon or s someone who usually doesn't see the ball as often. Or I'm I'm just throwing out names. Don't ask me if they're injured or not. I don't know. But I think they can force a turnover. Tampa gets a short field. Tampa does a great with short fields. All three of their touchdowns combined for what? 63 yards of offense on the three touchdown drives they had. I think Tampa does force a turnover. But either way, I like this game over 51. Give me Green Bay 33 uh, Tampa 24. We'll say, yeah. Green Bay goes on to the Super Bowl. AFC, we have Kansas City and Buffalo. Chiefs are a three-point favorite, still three-point favorites. With a total at 54, still at 54. Nothing has changed. Um, yes, the storyline of the day, of the week, of everything, because that's all sports commentators can talk, or sports uh, analysts can talk about, is whether or not Patrick Mahomes will be healthy. Based on everything I've heard, I'm assuming he'll be fine. So I'm not going to think twice about it, really. And Buffalo, um, I have to give them respect. Because, I mean, I couldn't have predicted them in the AFC Championship game. And their defense did a good job. Somehow making Justin Tucker more human than even I could realize. And shutting down the Ravens offense as a whole. Uh, I, I I wonder how different that game would have been had Lamar had enough time to get that pass off to Hollywood. That would have been a touchdown the play before the interception. With a 10-10 game, who knows? Buffalo wasn't scoring nothing for the rest of that game, so who knows? Anything's possible. And then Lamar, the Lamar concussion, it is what it is. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about the sense. McCarr was so good last year. Massacre has been fine, and just, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the center. I don't know if the Buffalo Wind have anything to do with it. 
the snaps were way too inconsistent this year, and it, it makes me on edge. But it is what it is. The pick six, you can blame Lamar on, but you don't blame the game on Lamar. It it, it was what it was. No, no, I'm, I'm a defendant. I'll defend him to the core. But, uh, but also, shout out to the Bills Mafia. Um, I remember y'all donating a PTSD alert. Uh, I donated to Cincinnati and to Andy Dalton and his charity for when they got you into the playoffs for the first time in the bazillion years you were out when they beat us. But for also donating to Lamar and his charity, you know, it's, I have a lot of respect for Bills Mafia. So, you know, win it all, win big. But I, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. If Patrick Mahomes is good to go, can't say he's winning this game. I, I don't see in a reality world where Buffalo can outscore Kansas City. I mean, we're talking, what, 27 against Indy and only 10 offensive points against Baltimore. Now, KC doesn't have Baltimore's defense, but KC has the offense to do whatever they want, realistically. And, yes, respect to Buffalo secondary. Trey White is a top echelon corner. Uh, Micah Hyde's a badass safety, and Jordan Boyer's an Oregon boy, so rep. It's a respectable secondary. And then, uh, I forget his first name, but Mr. Pick Six guy. I don't want to talk about him. Same dude, apparently, who was part of that meme video where he took the ball in the face during the combine. So, uh, yeah, but. I, I, I think Casey, I don't know if I'll say the hell of this game, but I think like the last time they played, maybe they run for 200 plus yards on them again and essentially dominate where they can. So yeah, I'm taking Casey to win this game. Total in the game, er, they're f minus three on the line, and with this kind of line, you just have to take it, even in a comp championship game. This ain't no regular season hoedown against two teams who we don't know what the hell's gonna happen. This is the playoffs, and you, you, at three, you just gotta take it. If we're looking at five or six, you could make an argument to maybe take the plus, but take take three where you can. I know it sounds like a dumb idea taking two favorites and them against the spread, but at this point, we know who the teams are. We, we have a respect for them. So, yeah. KC minus three, and for 54, I'm going to go under. Like I said, I'm expecting a lot, kind of like the last time these two met. Probably more heavy on the run game for KC. Don't want to give Patrick Mahomes hit too many times. Get him prepared for a Super Bowl run. Maybe even have Chad Hitting run a couple trick plays just for the shits and giggle of it. Or uh, do a Wildcat, whatever. But yeah, under, I think KC takes it easy in Buffalo. Probably has to be respectful, but doesn't really get too much opportunity. So KC will say they win 24 to Buffalo's 20. Why not? 24 to 20, Buff or KC goes to the Super Bowl. Green Bay KC, a rematch of Super Bowl 1? But, of course, with it being the Final Four games, um, I like to do a thing here every year where I rank the Super Bowl matchups based on what I want. And this year was a tricky one. Because it was another one of those comics where, like, I don't really have a for or against on who I want. I mean, I do, but, like, and I really don't want either of these NFC teams in the Super Bowl, but it is what it is, so here is my ranking on the Super Bowls that I would like. One thing you'll learn about me. I do not like regular season rematches in Super Bowls. I don't. I like something fresh, something new. And also, preferably, I don't like teams who've already been in the Super Bowl recently being in it. So, with that being said, which is why I'm choosing Buffalo and Tampa Bay as my preferred Super Bowl. This would make me happy. Partially because of narrative control and partially because I'm tired of repetitive nonsense. So that's where I'm at with it for the most part. 
So that's why Buffalo Tampa is at the top and uh, KC Tampa is at the bottom. Preferably, I'd rather Tampa be in the Super Bowl than Green Bay because my narrative and yada yada. And if Green Bay misses the Super Bowl, I can make some bullshit excuse to keep Drew Brees above Aaron Rodgers. Even though Aaron Rodgers winning that MVP is going to ruin that for me. But my narrative's not yours. <laughs> and then, yeah, so Buffalo Green Bay second and uh, KC Green Bay third. That's more than likely the one we're going to get, whether we like it or not. I don't see Tampa Bay. Um, could Buffalo be KC? That I could see. Could Green Bay? Could Tampa beat Green Bay? Theoretically, yes, but because of Super Bowl voodoo and NFL gods and yada yada yada, I I don't see it. I do not see it. And there you have it, folks. Those are my prediction picks. Thank you all for tuning in to the 6 a.m. CP. This is due to the time I'm in bed, but because I stayed up late like a dummy, it is what it is. Um. And like I, like I said, thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you follow me on my Twitter, Canadian Cat CP. On my Instagram, Blind Canadian Cat. My gaming clips, Canadian Cats. Ca my. Blah, blah, blah. Canadian Cat clips. Follow my Twitch, The Blind Canadian Cat. Um, you will be getting a gaming video. I don't know when. I'm being lazy in editing right now. But I have a gaming video that'll come out. Just me. But I streamed it a couple weeks ago, for those who attended the streams. But there there was a moment that I found really cool, so I do want to share that. So that'll be up here eventually. Um, as far as songs go, Eddie and I are in talks. He showed me a preview of something. So, you might be in tune for that. We're just kind of waiting for Slick at this point to do his part. And I don't know Slick's schedule, so that could be whenever. And that's all. And for skits, I ain't got shit for skits because right now, like I said, it's just me. Trying to get Abby or Sam to do skits is damn near impossible. And I work five days a week, so it's already impossible as is. Maybe we'll get the OLPB to do something. Or others. We shall see. Thank you all for tuning in. I am the CPZ. I say meow. I roll intros and I roll outros. And I bid you all a good night. Or a good morning. It is 6 a.m.